welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am sharing my go-to meat sauce recipe with all of you. channel. Hello and welcome. My name is Marissa. I'm a pharmacist and holistic health coach. And here on my channel, I make videos on how to live a holistic lifestyle so that you can live a more balanced and healthier life. If you are interested in following along, then definitely consider subscribing. So I absolutely love to cook. I have always loved to cook. My whole family loves to cook. So it's definitely something that I was brought up with. Um, but I know that not everybody shares that same like love of cooking or hobby or passion for cooking as I do. Um, so I really want to bring recipes to the channel that are really quick, easy to prepare, don't take a ton of time to cook, but are still really healthy and nutritious and satisfying and delicious that you guys can eat and prepare for you and for your family. I have been making this recipe my entire life. It's actually never been written down and today is the first day that I'm going to create some actual like measurements for you guys so you can recreate it. Um, but I have been making this my entire life. My family has been making this my entire life and it's just like a really quick, easy, healthy, nutritious and delicious meat sauce that you can use to make all different types of dinner options so you can make it with pasta you can put it on rice you can put it you know make your own pizza out of it you can just have it as like a side dish and like dip vegetables in it it's really versatile and it's just like one of those great basic recipes that you can have in your kitchen and it really wows whoever eats it so let's go ahead and start cooking Okay, so what you need in order to make this recipe, you need ground turkey. You can use ground beef as well. Um, I'm just going to be using ground turkey today. This is 93% lean. If I use ground beef, I like to use 85% lean and then 15% uh, fat. So anyways, we need a package of this or a pound. Um, obviously, if you wanted to make a lot of sauce, you could add a little bit more meat in, um, but a pound really ought to do it. Um, the next thing that you need is onions, and we are taking a shortcut today, and we're using frozen chopped onions. Um, these are just onions. There is nothing else in here except for onions, which is exactly what we want. We are going to season this ourselves, so we don't need them to add any seasoning into our onions. The next thing we need is garlic. You can't have a tomato sauce without garlic. Um, and we're making, we're taking another huge shortcut here, and that is using already pre-minced garlic. Um, I like this one. It's got organic garlic water and then I guess some citric acid for like um, to keep it, you know, as a preservative or whatnot. But um, there's no oils or anything in here. It's just garlic and water. You can, of course, chop an onion and mince some garlic that you have in your refrigerator. But these are just really nice time savers that you can have in your house at all times. And it's just nice, you know, for those days that you just don't feel like chopping much. The next thing we're using is a can of tomato sauce. If you wanted to stretch this, hello, you okay? What's wrong? Hold on. You want attention? <laughs> you want some attention, huh? <laughs> I think you've got spring fever. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Ow. <laughs> All right. Now after that interruption, um, so the next thing we need is tomato sauce. So I am using a can of tomato sauce here. Um, this one, I like the ingredients, um, compared to the organic one that I found in my grocery store. So I usually just buy this. It has tomato puree, water, and then some salt, onion powder, garlic powder, citric acid, natural flavors, and dehydrated bell peppers. The reason I read that out to you guys is that I always try to make sure that there is no sugar added into my tomato sauce. And that goes for like a jar of tomato sauce too that you can buy like in the aisles of the grocery store. Um, I personally try not to get sugar added in it. It doesn't need it in my opinion. And 
you know, we don't need sugar added in everything. Um, sugar is, if you look at, if you start looking at the ingredients on like all of your food products, it's really common to see sugar in like everything and it's too many carbs in our diet. So anyways, um, we have a can of tomato sauce. If you wanted to make this a larger tomato sauce and have like extra or just stretch it or you need to feed more people, just add two cans and keep the rest of the ingredients and like the measurements the same. Okay, now for the spices. So you can use a combination of fresh and dried herbs. Um, it just really depends on the season, what you have on hand, what you want to use. Um, you can really go either way. So I um, typically use a combination of dried and fresh, but if I don't have fresh, I will just use all dried herbs. So the first thing I have here is a bay leaf. So we are gonna use one bay leaf in our sauce. The next thing we have is oregano, and then we have basil. Um, I also like to use fresh basil when I have it, usually in the summertime. Um, it's like flourishing out in my garden and I have so much basil, I don't even know what to do with it. Um, so it's a great thing to add into the tomato sauce, but if you don't have fresh basil, just use dried. And then the next thing is parsley. This is dried parsley. I actually have some fresh parsley that I'm going to be um, putting into the sauce today. But again, if you, don't have, if you don't have fresh parsley, you can always use dried. Okay, so the first thing that you wanna do is take a medium to large size pot and you're going to turn on the flame to like medium to high. And then we're gonna add a little bit of avocado oil into the pot and we're gonna let that heat up. And then we're going to add in our onions. Okay, so we're gonna add in our onions now. This is a 12 ounce bag. I am not using this entire bag. I'll probably use maybe like a quarter to half of it. Um, and if you're using a regular onion that you're just gonna chop yourself, then I would say get like a small to medium sized onion. Okay, go ahead and give it a good stir. And then we're going to season it with a little bit of salt and some freshly ground black pepper. And then I always like to just stir it, make sure it's all seasoned. And now we are going to add in our garlic. Okay, so for this, we are going to be using about a half a teaspoon of minced garlic. If you're using a real garlic clove, um, then I would say two to three cloves of garlic, depending on how big they are. Okay, give it a good stir. And then allow this to saute until they get um, brown. You don't want them to caramelize, but you do wanna see a little bit of brown on the onion and the garlic. Just make sure to watch it because you don't want the garlic to burn. Okay, so this is the color that we are looking for, and now we're gonna add in the ground meat. Okay, so once you add your ground meat in there, use your wooden spoon and just kind of try to break it apart so that you get little pieces of the chopped meat all throughout the, um, that you'll get it all throughout the sauce. So we're just going to do this. And now we're gonna allow this to brown on each side. Don't worry if it's not completely like 100% cooked through. It doesn't really matter. It's going to be cooking with the sauce for like an extra 20 to 30 minutes, um, but we just wanna get it a little bit brown. I remember when I was watching, um, I think it was ABC's The Chew, there was Carla Hall and she was talking about um, how there's flavor in the brown and it always stuck with me. So always remember that. Now we're gonna add in a couple of spices and I actually forgot to mention these earlier when I was talking about them, but we're gonna be adding in some garlic powder and onion powder. We're gonna be using a half a teaspoon of each and then we're gonna put in a little dash of salt and pepper to, to help uh, flavor the meat. Ground turkey is very mild in flavor, it doesn't have much, so we're gonna add stuff into it to make it taste really good. And then using your spoon, stir it around, make sure that each side is browning properly and that all of the meat is coated with the spices. 
I will say that if you are using ground beef and you're using like a fat, a high fat percentage beef, um, you will see a lot of grease come into the pan at this point. Um, if you want, and it really bothers you, um, you can uh, drain it. So you would just have to take a bowl with a strainer and then pour this into it to strain out the grease. One of the reasons why I love to use ground turkey is that you don't really have that problem. Um, and it's like one less step that you have to deal with. And when I cook with ground beef that's 85% lean and 50% fat, I really don't have that problem. So I kind of bypass that step. Um, but if you are using a higher percentage fat beef, then you may want to consider it just so that it's not got so much grease in there. Um, it can be a little hard to digest, especially if you have like a gut health issue. Um, so just something to keep in mind. Um, a little bit is not gonna kill you. It's not that bad, um, but a lot can just be excessive. So you can use your judgment on that and your preference, um, but just wanted to point that out. And this is what the meat looks like when it is all done. Okay, so now at this point, you want to add in your tomato sauce. I already did this step because I thought I was filming, but the camera wasn't running. Just my luck today. It's okay. Anyways, um, go ahead, add in your can of tomato sauce. And then what I like to do is put a little bit of water in the can just to kind of swirl it around and get the remaining sauce out of it. And then pour that in there as well. Um, it's not a lot. It's just a little bit. And then I add in... Um, then we're gonna add in our spices. So you're gonna add in about half a teaspoon of garlic powder and onion powder. And then you're gonna add in one bay leaf. And then we're gonna add in half, I'm sorry, a quarter teaspoon of dried basil. And then we're gonna add in a half, maybe a little bit more of oregano. I usually make my sauce pretty oregano heavy just because I really love the flavor. But again, it's personal preference. If you guys don't like it as much as I do, then you can just add in like a half or a quarter. Um, but I think it gives tremendous flavor. So at this point, we're gonna let the sauce cook for like 10-ish minutes. Then we're going to add in our fresh parsley. I always like to add in fresh herbs a little bit later on in the cooking process, kind of when it's kind of towards, you know, being ready. Um, so at this point, just give it a good stir. Um, I have it on like a low to medium heat. And now we're just going to cover it. So it doesn't make a mess everywhere. And we're just going to allow that to simmer for like 10 minutes, 10-ish minutes. And then we're gonna add this in. Then we're gonna let it cook for an additional 10 minutes. When it comes to tomato sauce, usually the longer it cooks, the better and more flavorful it is. But if this is just like a quick dinner, for you trying to get dinner on the table after a long day of work or whatnot then 20 to 30 minutes is plenty um, as long as the meat is cooked through then you're good to go okay so it has been about 10 minutes so i'm going to go ahead and add in the fresh parsley um this is like maybe like a tablespoon of fresh parsley um you can add in as little or as much as you like. If you're using dried parsley, then I would recommend using like a half a teaspoon or a little bit more of dried parsley. And then go ahead and using your wooden spoon, give it a good stir. And I will show you guys what it looks like. All right, you guys, so the sauce is done. It's been cooking for about 20 to 30 minutes, and so I've shut the flame. The last thing you wanna do is just remove the bay leaf. Um, you don't wanna consume that, so once you do that, then you are all good to go and ready to enjoy your tomato sauce. All 
All right, you guys, so that is how you make this recipe. I hope that you decide to give it a try. It's really a family and crowd favorite. Um, I've been making it for years and it's so delicious and it works really well with pretty much any recipe that requires tomato sauce. So anyways, let me know what you think of it down below in the comment section. And if you like this video, then please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Also, let me know if you kind of like the style of video. Usually for my recipe videos, I do like a voiceover, but today I decided to try something a little bit different and kind of like just talk you guys through it as I prepare the recipe. So either way works for me. They're both fun for me to do. So um, but I would just love to know like what your what you guys prefer. So anyways, let me know down below in the comment section. Also, if you would like, you can follow me on uh, Instagram at Simply Health with Marissa. I'm always sharing like daily eats and fun recipes over on there. And I would absolutely love to have you follow me on Instagram. It'd be really fun. Um, definitely come and comment and say hi while you're there. And with that, um, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel if you haven't already. I post videos every single week and little like short videos as well that are really fun and super cute to make. Um, and with that, I will see you guys in my next video. Have a good one. Bye. Mm -hmm.